The film starts with a school where a detective comes into a class to interrogate because suddenly a girl disappeared from the school. The detective asks everyone, where did that girl go? Anyone knows, but no one knew how she suddenly disappeared. Then the detective says we are leaving this case open. If anyone gets information, let us know immediately. Saying this, the detective leaves from here. In the same class, there was a girl named Eden and her friend. Both are very good in studies. She wants to get a scholarship so that they can study well in college. After the class, Eden goes to a boy named Shroud. He was standing with his two friends and talking. Then Eden comes and says to Shroud I want to meet your dad. I want to talk to him about something important. Actually, his dad used to work in the president's office who could get Eden a scholarship. Hearing this, Shroud says my dad is busy. He doesn't have time, so you won't meet him. Ignoring him, Eden asks Shroud if there is a party at your house tonight. Shroud replies yes, my mom and dad are not at home. So I have organized a party in which I have invited all my friends. If you also want to come with your friends, you can come. Saying this, he left from here. Eden was happy that her friend also came here. Then Eden tells him about the party and tells him to be ready at night. We are also going to Shroud's house for the party. As the night appears, Eden got ready for the party and her dad was going to drop her in the car. On the way, they also take Eden's friend. Then Eden's dad left them at Shroud's house. Both the girls come to the party. Shroud's friend takes both their mobile phones telling that this is a rule of this party that no mobile can be used here. After that, both went upstairs to meet Shroud because Eden's plan was that I would impress Shroud with my words, so that he could introduce me to his dad. First of all, Eden sends her friend to Shroud's friend, so that he does not follow Eden. Then her friend takes Shroud's friend to drink alcohol by confusing him and when Shroud was alone, Eden took advantage of the opportunity and came to him. Eden's friend was talking to him, Shroud's friend becomes impressed with Eden's friend. He found out that Eden's friend is a music player the party was going on, when the sister of the missing girl comes here. She made a commotion in the party and started talking loudly. She tells everyone that how can my sister disappear suddenly. Seeing this, everyone went to the sister of the missing girl and made her calm. Now Eden says to impress Shroud the poor girl is upset, look, how is she crying? Let me drop her home, then I will come back to the party. On this, Shroud agrees and gives Eden the key to his car. Eden goes to drop the sister of the missing girl in the car. When she reaches home, she gives Eden a heart made of silver. She tells everyone that my sister always kept this heart with her. Seeing this, I am missing her a lot, don't know where she would be. Saying this, she became emotional and started crying a lot. Then she got out of the car and went home while Eden comes back to the party. Shroud brought her inside the house and starts showing the whole house. He also shows the pictures of all the members of his family. Then he tells that my family is very rich. He also shows the weapons and tools of ancient time telling that a lot of people in his family were hunters. After that, they both went ahead to play a game. Then Eden's friend also came here. The one who was drunk, she was so high that she could not even walk properly. Holding her, Eden asked Shroud where to take her. Shroud asks here to take her to the room above. Eden did this, she took her to the room and put her to sleep. Shroud's friend was also sitting in the bathroom of this room and was taking drugs. Looking at his face, it seemed as if he had made a very big mistake and by doing all this, he is regretting his mistake. Eden comes down and asks Shroud that if I win this game, will you introduce me to your dad? On this, Shroud says yes, I promise, I will do this and now Eden wins this game. When Shroud's friend came out of the bathroom, he saw Eden's friend lying on the bed and came and lied down now because he was fond of making pictures at every opportunity, he also tries to make a picture of her but then Eden came here. So in a hurry, Shroud's friend drops the phone there. Eden got angry seeing him there so she drives him away from here and closes the door. Coming out, Shroud's friend realized how big a mistake he had made. Eden got his mobile so she starts checking the videos. Did he make a video of my friend? She got a video of the missing girl. Eden found out that the day the girl went missing, she was with these three friends. She thinks to watch the video that what they must have done to the girl that day but then the mobile battery goes low and the phone was about to turn off. Seeing this, Eden suspects the three of them that they must have done something wrong. Because of which, the girl has gone missing. Shroud's friend comes down and tells his two friends that my phone is left inside. Hearing this, the three of them come upstairs and knock the door. Eden opens the door a little. Then Shroud says my friend has left his phone inside so give me that. To which Eden says I did not get any phone inside. Saying this, she quickly closes the door and locks it. From inside, she tells them that I have seen your videos on the phone. Hearing this, Shroud and his two friends get scared. 
Then Shroud asks her, tell me what did you see in the video? Eden says I was watching the video slowly and the mobile battery went low but by now I have realized that you have definitely done something wrong with that girl. That's why she went missing and now I don't know where she will be. Shroud asks her to open the door but she is not ready to open the door at any cost. After thinking for a while, she puts a condition in front of him. That you do this, give me the charger of this phone I want to watch all the videos. After which I promise that I will open the door and return this phone but for this, Shroud does not agree and also becomes furious because he knew that Eden would not agree like this that's why he went down and starts screaming. He closes the party and tells everyone to go back to their homes. When Eden sees everyone going through the window, she starts calling for help but no one could hear her voice. Eden thinks that those three must have gone out with the rest of the people. Then she remembers that a girl had a charger in the party. That's why she goes down secretly to get the charger. She got the charger, but before she comes back with it. Shroud's friend catches her but because Eden was brave, she started fighting to save herself. She punches his nose because of it, he fell down and his nose starts bleeding and when she starts running with the charger, Shroud also starts pulling the charger. Because of this, the charger broke into two pieces that means it is no longer useful. Seeing this, Eden runs back to the room quickly. She knew that those three would break the door and try to come inside. That's why she puts the cupboard in front of the door. Shroud tells his friend to take the stairs out and try to go to the room upstairs through it where Eden is. After listening to him, Shroud's friend goes away from there. After it, Shroud tries to break the door with an axe. In the meantime, Eden's friend wakes up because she had drunk a lot. She goes to the washroom to vomit but then she sees Shroud's friend outside the window who asks her to open the window. Now because Eden's friend was unaware of everything, that's why she thinks that Shroud's friend is in trouble and he needs help. Thinking this, she opens the window and puts him inside. He says, thank you very much, you are such a good girl. Now I started liking you but Eden's friend didn't know what was going on here and why is he saying this. Now Shroud's friend goes inside and tells Eden to give me my phone back. But without thinking, Eden picks up the chair and hits him. The chair broke. After this, Eden keeps hitting him and he falls unconscious. After that, they tie him up in the bathroom and now they had made him a slave. Along with that, both of them also get locked in the bathroom. Meanwhile, Shroud breaks the door and comes inside. He saw that Eden and her friend had made my friend a prisoner in the bathroom. They have also locked the door that's why he can't go inside. Eden's dad sees that the party is over. That's why everyone is leaving there. He was looking for his daughter Eden but she is nowhere to be found. When Shroud's friend regains consciousness, Eden puts him in the bathtub. And keeps a dryer in the water so that he gets electric shock. Shroud's friend starts crying to see this and begs for his life. He asks, why are you doing this? What do you want? Eden says, there is a phone in the room and your friend Shroud has also come inside. Tell him to give me your phone so that I can call the police and my dad. Then Shroud's friend says, please give me the phone. Shroud replies, I am sorry my friend but I will never do this. After it, he asks his female friend to go up the stairs so that he can save his friend and end Eden and her friend. Shroud turns off all the lights in the house so that he can't give electric shocks to his friend. Shroud's friend climbs up the stairs and starts going up. She also holds a knife in her hand to end Eden and her friend. She comes to the window and holds Eden's friend's hand but she leaves her hand and pushes her. As a result, she fell down and the knife stabs in her stomach. She got very hurt. Her blood started coming out quickly. Seeing this, both friends got scared and now Eden comes down through the stairs to Shroud's friend so that she can take her phone. She also took the phone. Shroud's friend who was suffering, says to Eden, please help me, I am very hurt. Don't leave me like this but Eden climbed up the stairs without listening to her to go up again. In the meantime, Shroud also came here and he removes the stairs but by then Eden had reached the window. When she started going inside, the phone falls down from her hand but she comes in safely. Shroud pulled his injured friend and brought her inside. He sees that she has lost a lot of blood. Her friend says, please take me to the hospital otherwise I will die but Shroud doesn't do this because if he took her to the hospital, he could have been caught so he leaves her to die like this and starts going up. Eden now tells her friend everything that is going on here. Hearing this, her friend says look, we have nothing to do with them or anyone no matter whatever they do, we should return the phone so that we can also leave from here but when Eden refused to do this, she started fighting with Eden instead. She tries to snatch the phone from him. In the meantime, we hear the voice of Eden's dad outside the house. He came here looking for her daughter. Hearing her voice, Eden came out. She asks her dad, what are you doing here, dad? Before he could answer, Shroud comes from behind and attacks him, he gets hurt. 
Shroud was holding an axe in his hand. He tells Eden to give me my friend's phone otherwise I will cut your dad's throat with an axe. Hearing this, Eden's friend got scared and she quickly takes the phone and puts it down but Shroud, who was an evil person, started laughing and says, how stupid you are to listen to me. Saying this, he picks up the axe to end Eden's dad but just in time, Shroud's dad came there. Looking at the axe in his son's hand, he asks, what is all this? What is going on here? He gets surprised to see the situation, Shroud's mom also came here but she was not so scared and says I think there is a lot of mess going on here. Everyone calm down, we should sit and talk. Now when everyone sit and started talking, Eden tells everything to Shroud's parents. Hearing this, his parents were shocked and worried about their son's behavior and now when they go to a room, they see Shroud's female friend dead. Seeing this, Shroud becomes sad and starts crying. He tells his mom and dad that all this happened because of that girl Eden neither would she do all the drama, nor would he lose her friend today. Anyway, now they come outside where Shroud's dad deals with those three, that is Eden, her friend and her dad that if you don't tell anything to the police, then I will give scholarships to both the girls. While Eden's dad will get a lot of money, Eden's friend liked this deal a lot and she gets ready to take it but Eden says this is wrong, after all, this is about a girl just think about what her mom and dad must be going through, I'm sorry. I can't take this deal for that girl because what Shroud and his friends did is a crime and in a crime, I can't support anyone. Here, in front of everyone, she starts watching the video by charging her phone. In which she saw that Shroud hit his car in fun and that poor girl died on the spot. After that, all three friends threw her body in the river. Seeing this, all three get scared and started escaping from there that's when they suddenly fainted because the drink Shroud's mom gave them there was a pill mixed in it through which the bodies of these three will be paralyzed when Eden regains consciousness, she finds herself, her dad and friend in a car and sees that Shroud is also taking us to that river. Shroud tells her that I have made this plan, that I will now throw all three of you in the river along with the car. So that the police think that the car had an accident. Your car fell into the river, because of which all of you have died. Eden sees that her dad and friend have not yet regained consciousness but now when they come to the river bank, Shroud's mom tells her friend, that you have to put your friend's body in its place, so put it in the car too and he did this. He also puts his friend's body in the car. Now because Shroud did not want to keep any evidence, so he comes from behind and attacks his friend and ends him too. He also puts his body in the car. They now start the car and push it into the river so that they all will die. After a while, it was shown that Eden and her friend somehow survived while Eden's dad has died. Both friends quickly swam out of the river. When she was moving forward, Eden looks towards Shroud's house. She wanted to go again and kill them too to take revenge because they were responsible for the death of Eden's dad. Although her friend refuses a lot but she does not listen to her. She goes ahead while her friend goes to call so that she can call the police for help and now Eden secretly enters their house where Shroud's dad was watching the news. The news of the same accident was going on which was done by this family last night and here it was being told that not five, but only three corpses have been found from the river. Hearing this, her dad was thinking which two corpses would not have been found and now as he turns back and looks, there was Eden in front of him, she pierces her head with an axe, he starts bleeding and dies on the spot. Now Eden goes to Shroud's mom to kill her too but it was not so easy to kill her because she was a sharp woman. She knew how to fight very well. She beats Eden a lot first, then tries to kill her by strangling her but here Eden is very cunning and throws her in the tub. Then she runs the dryer and leaves it in the water. This caused a strong electric current to Shroud's mom. She suffers so much that she dies there. Shroud comes back home and calls his parents but when he does not get any answer, Shroud understands that something is wrong. He picks up the gun and goes inside, he finds the dead bodies of his parents and here his eyes are left open. He panics and comes out, he sees Eden sitting in their car. Seeing her, Shroud goes to shoot her but she already collides the car into him and crushes him which injured him a lot. His condition gets worse then Eden picks up his gun and tries to end him but she can't do it and she throws the gun down while weeping. Then taking advantage of this, Shroud picks up to end Eden but at the right time, Eden's friend comes here. She hits him with the gun and Shroud dies on the spot. Both friends meet, Eden cries and thanks him for saving her life. Then to save both of them, the police and rescue team also comes here. That is brought by none other than Eden's friend. She got the phone through which she was able to call the police here. Now the police save both of them but in all this, poor Eden's dad died. While that family and Shroud's friends got a lesson of their wrongdoings. They wronged a girl and were punished for it, everyone lost their lives. With this, the story of this film concludes.